We are back by popular demand. We are the Chip and Joanne Gaines. It's Joanna. It is? It is. We are the Chip and Joanna Gaines of YouTube. You love us, you brought us back. And now, here's the follow-up to a video we did yesterday. I, I did a video talking about how uh, we are the epitome of millennials that are killing everything. Chain restaurants, uh, napkins, cruises. So here's- <laughs> We're killing napkins and cruises. Yeah, we are. <laughs> So here's some of the feedback we've already received. My good friend Zorro says, quote, I love your insights so much. Both educated, bright professionals. These podcasts need to be an hour at least. So that last one was 15 minutes. An hour is what he's demanding. That's a long time. Our good friend Melissa Castillo says, quote, this is funny because most of it probably is true. I would argue and say that we're not entitled. We do not play the victim card as the older and younger generations. We are more direct, honest, less brand loyal, and we are smarter. We are not crass or crude. Honestly, we just don't put up with the BS from older generations. Circumstances in life have changed and the older generations need to catch up and get with the program. We're the best generation. We are the beginning of the technology age, pre 9-11, post 9-11, and part of the present. If anything, we are the transitional, uh, Generation, okay. Proud single millennial, 1983, representing vegan pride. So we've got a, another vegan out there. All right, so we've got some positive feedback, right? Then we have some skepticism, and not to paint this dark, uh, but I do just want to get the whole balanced picture. I'm all about truth. And, and so here's, here's another perspective on the same video uh, from someone saying this, quote, I'm sorry guys, but I don't think anyone would look at either of you and think millennial, everyone I know, who is a millennial are either in their late teens to late twenties, <laughs> early thirties is pushing it. Anything past 35, which we're both 36, even if they're technically a millennial, it is so on the cusp that no one sees it that way. Even statistics go back and forth on whether millennials started being born in 81 or 82. So depending on statistics, you are either not a millennial or on the very cusp and not viewed as one anyway, even if you are by a year te technically, it goes on to say, it's difficult to speak on whether you relate to the topics being a millennial if you're hardly a millennial, that is all, end quote. So, there is, <laughs> there is uh, some polarization going on. It seems most of the people agree that we are millennials. And I will be the first to admit, we're the oldest of the generation, born in 1981. We, so there's gonna be parts of us that maybe reflect still uh, the uh, generation X. I personally don't associate the generation X, that's not me. And as we look through all those things, I, I'm like, no, that's me, I'm a millennial. You know, I mean, you can look at the, the negative and the positive of any generation. And I agree, the whole thing about being entitled, I think that our generation, because we are so connected to technology and information, we're aware of something called, oh yeah, what's it called? Emotional intelligence. We understand the perception that we control our emotions and how other people, whether or not we let them have control over ourselves. And I think being that we're less sensitive and therefore we are more direct, but I don't think entitled, I don't think so. I think that's something we're really good at as a generation. So I say no one's going to add up 100% to whatever their generation is supposed to be. And I'll admit, there's people born in the late 70s they could be millennials. There's people born in the mid 80s that could be generation X. But for the most part, I feel a connection with millennials. I always have, proud to have been grown up in the 80s and 90s. That's my generation. That's my people. Just think of me as your older brother. But how do you feel here in these comments? Do you feel connected as a millennial? Until yesterday, I don't think I knew I was a millennial. <laughs> I don't think I associated myself with a millennial. I mean, honestly, I guess I didn't care to know which generation I belong to because I am who I am. Whether some of these things, it, there's a list of like 25 things yeah. that obviously most people who are millennials are not going to identify with all 25. So that's I mean, it's a little silly to be like, oh, discount yourself because one thing doesn't match up or six things don't match up. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, you know, you are who you are. It doesn't matter whether you're labeled as millennial or not. And I think some of the question, I think it's just, it's a changing world. Everything's always constantly changing. Uh, you know, when you look back to the generation, you know, before our parents, it, they didn't have technology, they didn't have, you know, the things that we have today, 
and the world was a much different different place where you know you had time to all you had was time now you know the the world that we live in is there's not enough time there's not enough anything to you know there's always oh, people always want more whatever that more means whether it's time more possessions more money it's just a different it's a different generation i don't know i mean to to some extent some people i guess have always had the the concept of wanting more but i don't think never as, as much as we do now because we have so much and you you're just wired to want more to you know to desire more because if you don't then what do you what do you have i mean i don't know no I don't know if that makes any sense, but I, I think it, I feel it only reinforces that my wife is truly a millennial. And something you kind of hinted on a moment ago was you were saying how you kind of have an apathy towards the label of being a millennial. And I think that's a millennial qualification is that we're a generation who's all about breaking down labels. We are this whole thing about woke. One of my favorite Saturday Night Live skits. What's his name? Ryan Gosling, and he has this thing woke jeans. Have you seen that? It's hilarious. And that's supposed to be something about our generation. We don't. We care less about labels than anyone else ever has. We. It's all about knowing who we are, embracing that identity, and moving forward with our lives. So I feel, even if if you didn't know what a millennial was until yesterday, or whatever, or didn't care, or still don't care, <laughs> I still I see it in you, and 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 I feel that we totally are. And I think. But I think we're we're definitely like that. One commenter makes a point. We're on the cusp of it. Sure. I think there are some. Some very uh, pointed connotations uh, of millennials that the younger millennials yeah, I could totally embody see that. more so than the older millennials. I could but, see how if we were 10 years younger, maybe we'd be much more skeptical of owning a house. Whereas in a few weeks, we've owned this house, you know, through the bank for three years. You know, yeah. maybe if we were a decade younger, we would be less inclined to have bought a house. I don't know. I Little know. things like oh, that. Oh, was that something it said? Yeah, that it said that millennials don't aren't homeowners. Yeah. Like fewer are, and we, we definitely are. Yeah. And the fact, again, we've been married for nine and a half years, and marriage was another one. There was a lot of skepticism toward, but, you know, we've been married. So um, here's how I want to close this video. What I love doing and making videos is I love it to be involving you, and I like for you to vote. So I want everyone who's watching this video to vote. Do you think that we truly are millennials? And if you need any... Uh, clarification on watch our other video where we talk about how we are the millennials killing everything. Watch that and look how we kind of quiz ourselves on those nearly 25 things and decide based on that. I feel that overwhelmingly we're, we uh, connect with most of those stereotypes about millennials. And when I say stereotypes, they're like interesting ones. They're not like, they're entitled. It's more like, we don't like paper towels. They're stupid. We don't like going to chain no, restaurants. No, we like paper towels. We don't like napkins. Oh, we hate napkins. Napkins are awful. So vote in the comment whether you think that my wife and I, who were born in 1981, can qualify as millennials. I feel it in my heart, but it doesn't mean anything until you leave a comment and vote.